Daggerfall. I played it in 1996. I'm playing it currently in 2024. What are my thoughts? What are my feelings on this uh, game? You know, what, 28 years later? Well, I walked into the game going, you know, I haven't played this game in a long time. Didn't never finish the game way back when. And let's just try it. Wanted, wanted to try something new. Uh, I was finding the horror genre. I enjoy horror movies. Some of the games I was enjoying. But for the most part, I was still an RPG guy, kind of guy, especially MMORPGs. So I thought, you know, let's go back to one of my, one of what my memories tell me were one of my favorite games, which was Daggerfall. So been playing Daggerfall for about a week now, and it was everything and more than what than from what I remember. I love the procedural. Um, like the procedural dungeons, quests. I know some some people find them annoying. I like them for the simple fact of I can play the game. There might be a little bit of help on you know online, as far as you know. Yeah, you kind of need to do this step. You need to do this step. But with procedurals, the names are going to change. The 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 framework of the quest is going to be the same. But the people, the places are all going to change. Uh, where they're going to be at is going to change. If you get sent to a dungeon, the dungeons are definitely going to be, the dungeons are all different. Like I just finished up the Mummy's Finger quest and what it, everything, I was having a hard time with it. I wasn't finding the mummy that I needed. I was killing plenty of mummies but not the one I needed. And so I was like, you know what, let's look online. And I, you couldn't find anything. Uh, everything that like I found on YouTube was nothing compared to what I had. Uh, especially like if you look at dungeons and you know looking at you know where where they're where they're going, where I was going, but our dungeons didn't look the same. The rooms didn't uh, weren't the same. Like I found two videos with one type of room. I found that room. It was filled with uh, a bunch of rats and I think a skele and two skeletons. Wasn't the same room. Uh, the room I found the mummy at, completely plain room. Didn't look anything interesting, was an interesting room. It was just a plain old room with a mummy. Their rooms had like the mummy and like four affrets, uh, you know, fire elemental guys. So it's things like that that are, that I'm having fun with that I can't use the internet to make me uh, to make it easier. I can get some tips from it. But, I mean, even character creation in Daggerfall. Yeah, you've got some stuff out there, but there's still a lot of unknowns. Like, for instance, if you didn't know this, uh, the agility and the will categ uh, category for your stats don't really mean anything. They say they mean something, but in reality, you can drop those down to 25 and you'll be fine. So give yourself an extra 50 points. But that's all stuff that, you know people found out. But I mean, even that, even that stuff was you know not, not well known. I like only found like a couple of instances, and even those were conflicting. So right now I've got a custom guy with a twenty five agility and a twenty five willpower. It's actually been working out fine. But just things from the game. I think one of the things I'm going to be doing, like right now for the channel, we're going to be doing retro. So for me, that's going to be anything 2010, maybe 2011 on down. But when I start messing around with newer games, I might start looking around for RPGs that have a that are newer. So be, so maybe better graphics, maybe better maybe you know better mechanics, but have a definitely a retro feel to them. So you know procedural dungeons, procedural quests. Uh, I mean, you really can't do procedural quests with the main quest. The main quest needs to be the main quest. But all the side quests and stuff like that, no, that can all be procedural. You don't, if you don't, if, if you're going to the same, same place over and over, the replayability of that game, or making a new character or whatever, is going to be boring. Um, I'm trying to think of, oh, I think, I'm trying to think of Skyrim has procedural quests. 
I haven't played it in a while, but in my memory, everything I've done, everything I did in Skyrim was, especially if I did a new character, was doing the same things over and over and over. It wasn't it sending me somewhere else, or going to a different dungeon, or the dungeons being different. Everything was, you know, the same. So, yeah, I could make a new character, I could go through, maybe go to different areas that I hadn't been before for, qu for quests and stuff. But once I did everything, I did everything. Uh, the only way you're going to really get around that is mods. And I'm sure Skyrim, I haven't looked into them, but I'm sure there's tons of different quests and stuff from different mods in Skyrim. Oh, different th other things with uh, going from 96 to now. Ninety, like 96, like a lot of my my memories from Daggerfall back in 96 were honestly from friends playing the game because I could only play the game at friends' houses. They didn't. I didn't have a PC. I was living with had roommates. They had a PC. I could play on their PCs every once in a while. That's how I was playing Daggerfall. Or if I went over to a friend's house, I'd play over there. I was basically Harry Potter. <laughs> Back in the early, basically middle 90s, I was basically Harry Potter. I lived in a little room underneath the stairs of a, of a friend of mine um, until I moved up here, until I moved up here to Pittsburgh. But, but yeah, so that was, so I didn't get a whole lot of time playing it. Like, I probably played more Daggerfall now than I did then. But, I've got great memories from my friends playing it and them like calling me up at midnight telling me that they just got changed into it that you know they got attacked by a werebore three days ago and uh, they just turned into a werebore in the middle of a village and the only way they could survive was to uh, eat people so so that was that's still what to this day one of my favorite memories of gaming is is that story that he told me and we've been actually talking back and forth about recently about me getting back into the game and playing it. And I sent him, you know, the Daggerfall Steam, and then I sent him all the mods I've been playing with. Going, you know, this mod's good, this mod's not good, or I like it or I don't like it. Uh, so I'm hoping that he gets into the game at some point, because I think he would enjoy it. Especially with, you know, Daggerfall Unity, you know, having, you know, current mechanics, not the mechanics from way back when, which I did try. I have tried Daggerfall, uh, just Daggerfall straight up, and realized how much I, I didn't hate the mechanics back then because that's what we had. But after playing so many years of RPGs now with like mouse look and things like that, going back to that kind of style, that's okay. That's not a fond memory. Uh, I'd rather adventure and explore that world with modern mechanics, which Daggerfall Unity isn't letting me do. So... But yeah, I am having, I have not had this much fun in a game in a very long time. And it's very funny that it's a 28-year-old game. But it's, I mean, yes, I've been playing Phasmophobia for three and a half years. I've had a lot, got a lot of good memories from Phasmophobia. It's been really fun. I love the logic puzzle of Phasmophobia. Uh, I've been playing World of Warcraft for 20 years. I've been playing MMORPGs since 99. I started, I think, December 99, uh, right, because I think I, I played, I started EverQuest right before uh, Runes Canark. I think Runes Canark came out in April 2000, if I remember right. So, and then I've been playing RPGs off and on, you know, as I've been playing MMO RPGs, like, you know, um, Dragon Age Origins, uh, Skyrim. Uh, where are some other ones? Oh, Knights of the Old Republic, but oh, Knights of the Old Republic was, you know, older than that. But it's it's it was something that I did not pick up when it came out. I picked up later, like uh, somewhere after 2010 is when I picked up uh, Old Republic, or Knights of the, Knights of the Republic, older Knights of the Old Republic. Then, which is going to be something we play on this channel at some point. But yeah, but so those are really. I would say that if you thought about playing Dagger, Daggerfall, if you're old, older like I am, 
and you wanted to play it back then, but maybe you're too young, didn't have access to it, didn't have a PC like I didn't, but you heard a lot of good stories about it, I would say pick it up. And But you have a PC now? Pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. Pick up Dagger. I would highly recommend Daggerfall Unity, um, mainly because they're going to be used to modern day mechanics and trying to learn mechanics from back in 1996 which was modern for that day uh, is going to drive you insane because it is totally different you're going to die to a rat in the beginning dungeon because you don't know how to look down <laughs> just save yourself the trouble play Daggerfall Unity and then after you start having fun with it if you wanted you can it's easy just you know instead of double clicking the Daggerfall Unity icon you go into Steam and, and play from a, just a regular Daggerfall and, and try it out. See how you like it. Uh, I know I it drove me insane. But, but yeah, but I, I would highly recommend I am having a lot of fun. It is definitely the game I am playing the most right now. And well, other than Phasmophobia, but that's because I've been streaming Phasmophobia more, which is probably going to be changing. I'm probably going to take the leap and change out. But, but yeah, so I would highly recommend it. I would highly recommend, I'm going to be going on a journey, especially on YouTube, on this YouTube channel, and probably on Twitch. I'm going to start going on, on a journey of RPGs I either played way, way back when, or RPGs that I wanted to play way back when, but I didn't have the means. Early 90s, well, okay, late 80s, early 90s, I was in the military. I was all over the place. I couldn't buy a P I couldn't buy a PC. Console gaming wasn't really <sighs> console gaming was around still, and there were plenty of good RPGs that were that were console back then. But the console RPG boom hadn't happened yet. But it still but it still fell in the same thing of I was at sea most of the time, and if I wasn't at sea, I was in transition between being on the boat, being on the base, being on vacation, on leave. So, me having something in a stable environment, no, I couldn't have, I couldn't have it. So, so, I just didn't bother. So, there's a lot of stuff in the late 80s, early 90s that I just never got a chance to. And really, I didn't get a chance to start doing stuff until 90, end of 96, beginning of 97, when I moved up here to Pittsburgh, got a stable job, and was able to be in one spot for more than a couple of months. <laughs> But, but yeah, but that's one thing that's going to be happening with this channel. But you're going to be seeing a lot more Daggerfall. Um, you're going to start seeing me delve into some other stuff. But if you, but if I had to say one thing about Daggerfall, it would be give it a try. I am thoroughly enjoying playing a 28-year-old game with modern mechanics, and some of the mods I got are actually pretty cool too. Which, if you look at my YouTube videos on the episodes, which is gameplay, I've got a list of all the mods I use. And if I add any mods, I always add the mod on the next episode of that episode I played with that mod. But other than that, everybody, hope you guys all have a good day. Hope you guys are enjoying the bar. Hope you guys are enjoying the uh, this, the talking point thing here. I was, I was supposed to get a, a rag so I could wipe off the bar and maybe clean a glass while I was talking to you. I kind of forgot about all that. So, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Remember, if you like the video, give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and give, us, give it a subscribe. And if you want to watch me on Twitch live, uh, if you want to watch me live, I usually stream on Twitch between 8 a.m. to 1 or 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, you're going to be start seeing a lot more of old school RPGs on Twitch. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Love y'all. Be safe. Be kind. Take care. Bye.